Hello Internet, this is Rhythmin and this is a, just a brief video about the new Warframe that was released. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I don't know what that was about. Alright, yeah, the new Warframe release, Atlas, is a brawler. Um, and I'm probably going to make a more in-depth video later, but I just wanted to put something out there so you guys can see. Uh, <laughs> so people are already, he already's got a reputation of, yeah, being that guy. But, yeah. Just, um, the type of Warframe he is, um, you can look up his, uh, abilities but the first ability he has is basically a melee attack a brawling attack and uh, jump over here if you do it in quick succession it does more damage and it also uh, costs less energy and it kind of actually kind of does look cool because it really knocks them out But, you know, probably should get up close and could take quite a bit of damage that way. Um, and his armor and shield value is decent, but it's not the, the best. So, it's kind of strange for a brawler. Anyway, the second ability he has creates a shield uh, made out of rock. Which actually sounds really great. I thought this really would be really great. But there's there's one downside to the ability. Um, it blocks you from attacking other people too. So it kind of works like cover, but it's a little hard to shoot around for some reason. And I don't know if I'm the only one having that problem or. But like, yeah. So, but that besides that small thing is pretty great then when you're done using it you can you know send it around to uh, attack your enemies and do damage not that great especially at higher levels enemies sort of have armor and then uh, the third ability is I think is my favorite and I, I could see it being really useful I just figured, haven't figured out how to use it effectively without, you know, getting myself killed. I'm going to try to show it to you guys. But it's basically... Petrify, which basically uh, turns your enemies out. So that's really great. You go across and you just petrify everybody. Yeah, so I really like that because once they once you get that done, I can you know the rest of my team can take care of them. And a really neat thing about it is uh this is just with the regular range. I could put a max range on there and that that ability would go quite far. I've already tested it. Um but basically from like tower D over there I've been able to reach enemies almost at their spawning point so which seems like a safe distance except for oh, they have guns so they can still shoot me so I haven't figured out how to make it useful without risking killing myself but I, I'm pretty sure once I figure that out with the right mod uh, maybe more strength then that could be a lot better. And then the last ability is pretty cool. The summon little rock warriors. You know, they go around throwing rocks at people and punching them in the face. You know. And, and you get style points for that. There's nothing cooler than punching someone in the face with a rock fist. But same same problem as with his other ability. That damage starts to become, you know, negligible at higher levels. So I don't know if he's going to end up 
not being too useful at end game. I really like the concept of him, but I just haven't been able to really get him to to be that useful. So I can't suggest any mods at this moment. Maybe once I figure him out a little more, I will. But uh, as it is, the first ability, the punching ability, you know, more damage is good. And range makes it so that you can attack him from further away. Um, and I, I, I think if you add duration mods, it gives you more times in between attacks to pull off the combo. As you can see, every time I punch, the little line goes down. Timer for your next attack before it doesn't count as a combo anymore. And then for the wall, uh, actually more strength gives it more health. But that's about the only thing that's affected. Um, it doesn't fly further with more range mods um, or duration bots or anything like that, as far as I can tell. So, th and that's kind of hampering the use for the sun. The third ability, um, like I said, range works really well for it. But if you use overextend, you're actually going to lower the power strength, and the power strength determines how quickly they turn into rock. So, actually, when I first put max range on there, I, I thought I was being smart. But then I realized it took him, like, a good five seconds to turn the rock, which is plenty of time for them to, you know, to come out of their days and shoot me down. So, it turned out to be excessively weak. What I ended up having to do was add transient fortitude and blind range in order to give it enough power strength to actually be quick. But then I lose some efficiency and some duration so they don't stay rock as long. So while that's why I'm having trouble with that third ability. It's really great, but it's, it's really hard to make it useful without, you know, running into a little caveat. Um, but so far, the, that's the best I've been able to do <laughs> using those nightmare mods and uh, those corrupted mods, I mean. And that last ability that really is just for show it's not really all that great it's i mean it, let's be honest it just looks cool it just looks nice it makes you look like a you know makes you look like a champ you know you are it's like a guy with a really big car you know you know what they say about big big cars you know? inferiority complex and Sorry to you guys out there with big cars. I don't really think you have, you know, inferiority complex. It's just what people say. But, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video that it answered some questions for you. Um, as you can see, currently, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't really use his abilities all that much. They're great, but they all have, you know, just that one thing that limits their usefulness. To the point where you know he, he's he's just really cool to look at. That's another thing too. I mean, I do really like the design of him. Uh, he's one of the few uh, who I feel like is his best is at his best with no attachments, no you know capes or anything like that. Just just pure unadulterated awesomeness. And it's actually nice to have warping like that. Well, anyway, that's that's it for this video. If you have any questions? You can be sure to comment, and uh, I'll just you know answer them for you or or answer them in a future video.